Alright guys, welcome back. Why the heck are you still watching these videos? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Welcome back to your 16th Ruby tutorial. And in this lesson, I want to talk to you guys about the OR operator and also the UNLESS keyword. Weird, huh? Well, you guys are going to understand what I'm talking about after these videos. So basically, you know how I said that you use the double ampersand and and whenever you want to test more than one condition and you want to see if both of these conditions are true? Well, what if you only wanted to make sure that one of these tests was true? So you know, in the last case, if we had one true and the other one was false, then the code wouldn't run because this one was false. But with the OR operator, and by the way, the OR operator is the double pipes, I said pipe, the double pipe signs, and this is the key. If you hold shift and type the key above enter on your keyboard, it's that straight up and down line. It's not like an L or anything like that. What this is going to do is it's going to run multiple tests, and as long as one of them is true, then it's going to run the code. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's go ahead and say that a person's weight is 54. They must be anorexic or something. I don't know. But we want to make a program that says, okay, we want to check if a person's weight is less than 100, because if you weigh less than 100 pounds, then you need to go see a doctor. Or if you weigh more than 500 pounds, then you also need to go see a doctor. If you're between 100 and 500 pounds, then you're probably good. I mean, if you're like 450, then you know you're cutting it close. But anyways, we're going to say that 100 to 500 pounds is the healthy weight range. So let's go ahead and make a program that people can input their weight and we can tell them whether they need to see a doctor or not. So puts you need to see a doctor if not only does weight have to be less than 100 or weight is greater than 500. So take note that we are no longer using that double ampersand ampersand sign. We're using the two pipe signals and the two pipe, I call them signals when I mean to say symbols, same thing. So basically it's going to take these two tests and run both. Is weight less than 100 and is weight greater than 500? If one of these tests is true, then it's going to run the code. So it's going to say, okay, is weight greater than 500? No, 54 is not greater than 500. Okay. But is weight less than 100? Well, yes, their weight is 54, and that is indeed less than 100. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to say, you need to see a doctor. So unlike before, when both of these things needed to be true, with the or, only one of them needs to be true, and then it outputs the code. Simple enough. So if we go ahead and have weight in the healthy limit, like 200, check it out. It's going to say, you need to see a doctor if your weight is less than 100, and or excuse me or your weight is greater than 500 so since the weight is greater than 100 and is less than 500 then when we go ahead and hit enter nothing runs they are healthy weight although 200 healthy weight eh, it's debatable depending on how tall you are so that is pretty much the difference between or and and whenever you use or only one of the tests need to be true whenever you use and both of the tests need to be true. Simple enough. So let's move on to the next topic. Something called unless. So you know how basically in all of these tutorials, well at least in like the last three or whatever, I told you guys about the if keyword. Now the if keyword is pretty much self-explanatory. It's basically whenever you want your computer to make a decision whether or not to run this code, you give it an if statement and then a couple tests. So you say okay, print something out on the screen if this test is true. Simple enough. But what if you wanted to test the opposite of if? You only want to run the code if the test is false. Okay, let's go ahead and look at an example. Enough with the weight because weight, you know, it's a touchy subject. Let's go ahead and, you know, talk about something a little more appropriate, underage dating. So let's go ahead and say that a girl is running this program and they want to run the program to see if they're eligible to date me, Bucky Roberts. So I only have one criteria when I'm dating girls. What is their age? I'm not dating anyone unless they're greater than 18. So their age is 23, aka dateable, aka if there are any girls out there, give me a call, send me a message. But anyways, enough of the creepiness. Let's go ahead and print out on the screen 
I will date you if your age is greater than 18. Now we can write this in a couple different ways. Let's go ahead and write the easy part first. Puts I will date you, explanation point. You can go ahead and make if statement if age is greater than 18, but what we want to do is we want to use the unless keyword. Now remember this, the unless keyword is the opposite of an if statement. So if age is less than 18, whenever we use unless, it's pretty much going to do the opposite. So if this is confusing you guys, just remember this. Whenever you want to make an unless statement and it's kind of confusing you guys, just read it as an opposite if statement. So unless age is less than 18, just read it like this. I will date you if your age is greater than 18. Okay, that makes sense. So basically, if this test is false, and let's go ahead and look at this. Is age less than 18? Well, 23 is greater than 18, so this test right here is actually false. So we go ahead and run this, and it runs the code. Why? Because whenever you use unless, unless runs the code when your test is false. So why does this say I will date you? Again, one last time, because this test is false. So one last time to pound it in your head, whenever you use an if statement, it's going to run the code if the test is true. Whenever you use an unless statement, it's going to run the code when the test is false. Make sense? It can get kind of confusing at first, and by the way, I typically like to stay away from unless, and I typically use if more often, but for the sake of learning everything in Ruby, I needed to show you guys. So basically we're saying if age is not greater than 18, then I will date you. But anyways, that's enough about me dating girls until, well, probably the next tutorial. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got kennel cough from working at the kennel all day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, add me on Google+, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you next time.